Hey racers, John Race with you today back for another video for the Hot Wheels 2020 Olympic Series. Today we have the relay race. As you can see, there are four cars from each team about to participate in the three lane down to the fat track. That's right, the fat track is back for the Hot Wheels Olympics. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. We got some beautiful cars coming out for today's event. Like I said, it will be two teams for each Olympic team. So four cars from each Olympic team total competing in a single elimination tournament to the end. Now let's talk about the rules. There will be two laps. The positioning will be decided after the first lap. And then the first car to the end will be the winner on the second lap. The first lap, it's whoever is the farthest will get the inside lanes going outside then the back row inside outside it'll make more sense once we start we have a lot of beautiful cars here and we are about to start off with our first round which is japan versus italy japan with the nissan and italy with the event store as they're off the event store holding a strong lead over the nissan 300 zx from japan going into the first lap and it looks like this gtr from japan is third Pagani fires in fourth. Let's see if what they can do. The Aventador is going to lead it, and it's going to be a pass from the Nissan GTR from Japan. That GTR is the 100-meter dash sprinter for Japan, so I'm not surprised at that. Next up, we have Spain versus Brazil. It's a lot of Lamborghinis in this one. That Ferrari 458 is the sprinter for Spain. Let's see what can happen here. Looks like Brazil is going to take it with the Sesto Elemento, who is their sprinter, obviously carrying the team there. Got the Sesto in first and the 458 in second. Can Spain have a comeback here? Fry 458 takes it on the outside and it looks like they will have a comeback. Spain moving on to the next round with their first team. Eliminating Brazil's sprinter, by the way. Next up, we have Fury versus the United States. Now, you got to watch out for that F40 from Fury. That is one of the fastest cars in this tournament. So, let's see what they can do here. Fury absolutely destroying getting the first and second position after the first lap. You can tell that F40 has a lot of speed, a lot of weight behind it, and they're currently blocking the United States going into lap two. Just look at the speed from that F40 from Team Fury. Absolutely dominating and destroying the United States in their first round. Next up, we've got the UK versus Germany. Got the speed tail in front for the UK. And you got the BMW IA in front for Germany. Let's see what they can make happen here. That F1 for the UK is their sprinter. Let's see what they can do here. It looks like the speed tail is going to sneak ahead, getting the first place position going into the second lap. Let's see if it's worth it. Let's see what they can do with that here. McLaren speed tail starting at first. BMW i8 right beside him. Beyond Abia i8 pushing him off the track, and he's going to stay in front of the McLaren F1, taking the win for Germany and pushing the speed tail off the track, which is just unfortunate. So there you have it. Here are your first four matchups already done. We're going to have Japan versus Spain, and then Fury versus Germany. Next up, you've got Italy versus the UK. Italy with the 458. We know how fast that 458 is from the hurdles match. As it looks like the 458 is going to be taking a first place starting position for the second lap. The Lotus is going to be taking second for the UK. Let's see what they can make it happen here. Both teams are bump drafting their own. See what they can do here. The Ferrari California with a big push for the Ferrari 458. And the Ferrari 458 is going to take the win for Italy. Very good run for Italy there. The UK has been eliminated. Both of their teams now completely out of the running. Next up we have Spain's second team. And Fury's second team. We got that Mazda Furai coming from Fury, which won an event earlier to this series. Looks like Fury's going to absolutely destroy Spain here, getting both of the front row positions heading into lane two. That Lamborghini Mira looking very fast. And it looks like the Corvette tries to get in front of the Furai, but it's not worth it, and he's spun out by the Furai, which is an unfortunate situation here as the Mazda Furai is going to take it. For Fury getting Spain out of here. Next up, we have the United States versus Brazil. You got that Dodge Challenger drift car, which was the winner of the long jump for the United States. So let's see what they can do. Well, it didn't win the United States, but look at that speed coming from it going backwards. And let me correct myself here. It got around second place in the long jump, beaten by the Furai from Team Fury. But here we go. United States blocking Brazil here. 
from getting the win. It's going to be a close one. Three wide to the finish, but it's going to be the United States just barely edging out Brazil. Brazil almost able to get it with that Porsche 911 GT3 RS, but not close enough. There you have it, all of our finalists, except for this final round. We got the Audi R8 for Germany, who is their sprinter, versus some Japanese cars. You got that Honda CRX from the archery video representing Japan here. And it's going to be the Nissan Skyline for Japan getting first place on the first lap. It's going to be having the inside lane, which is going to be proving beneficial as the CRX is bump drafting him behind. Let's see what the Audi R8 can do for Germany. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to do enough as that Nissan Skyline is going to beat out the Sprinter for Germany, which is not a good look there. But there you have it. That is the end of the first round here. Let's go ahead and head into the second round of races. It's going to be the same rules all the way up until the last matchup will be three laps, I believe, if I'm getting my information correct. So let's go ahead and start the first round of the second round. We've got Japan versus Spain. Both of their sprinters starting up front here. It's going to be the Ferrari 458 for Spain taking the win. Gallardo second blocking off Spain going into the second lap. The GTR not the best run here representing Japan. Here we go as we go into the second lap. Our start man. Fumbles a little bit, but it's going to be Spain absolutely dana just the what well, I don't even know what I was saying there. Destroying Japan as Japan's cars are flying off the track. Spain is moving on to the next round. Next up we have Germany versus Fury with the F40 starting in front. I think it might be all over as Fury with that F40 absolutely destroying the BMW i8 in the first lap. It's going to be close. It looks like the F40 is going to be starting in first. I8 in second. The Greenwood Corvette's pushing the I8, though, but it's not even going to be worth it. The F40 is just absolutely too mind-blowingly fast. That is going to be a dangerous sprinter going into the 100-meter dash two weeks from now. But here we go. Fury's back at it again, going up against Italy with the Ferrari 458. Masafura and 458 have both got gold medals under the belt. Let's see what they can do with it. And it's going to be... Look at that. The Ferrari 458 falls back. He's going to be starting in the back row for the second race, but so is the Mazda, as you see. The Lamborghini Mira starting in first, and the California in second. Can Fury take a win here? It does not look like it as the... Oh, my gosh! And the Ferrari 458 threading the needle, getting the win, passing both his teammate and the Lamborghini Mira for Team Fury. I was not expecting that to happen. The Ferrari 458 not wanting to lose this and taking the win for Italy. Next up, we have the United States versus Japan here. We know how fast that skyline is, beating the R8 from Germany. And it's going to be a close one, but it looks like the United States is going to be taking the front row as the skyline just completely rolls backwards, leaving his teammate in the dust, and Japan is going to be starting behind the United States for this matchup. The United States has a very good habit of sticking together and finishing in front, blocking off the uh, opponents, and look at that. It's going to be that drift car taking the win. We know it was fast from the long jump, and it's going to be moving the United States on to the next round. Here are your semifinals matchups ready to race. So it's going to be a close one after the losers of these matchups will battle for bronze, and then the winners of these matchups will battle for gold. First up, we have Spain versus Fury. That F40 looking scary, but we know that 458's fast coming from Spain. Let's see what they can make happen. Looks like Fury's going to bounce all the way back. The F-Type has a tendency to do that, but it's going to be the Greenwood Corvette finishing first and Spain finishing second with that Ferrari 458. Both teams are now lined up behind each other. Can the F40 give the Greenwood Corvette a boost? It's all going to ma matter here. It's going to be close. The F40 coming back from the outside. Styling on Spain. Showing them who is boss. And Spain is put into the bronze battle matchup. But man, that F40 is quick. It has been going to the finals. Who is going to be facing in the finals? Is it going to be the United States or is it going to be Italy? We're about to find out here with the first race. Let's see what's going to happen here. Look at that. Both cars very fast battling each other. It's going to be the United States starting on the inside and the Ferrari 458 starting on the outside representing Italy. But the teams are mismatched. Who will be bump drafting who? Who will be sent to the bronze matchup and who will be sent to the gold matchup? We're about to find out here. Italy just barely passing the United States trying to finish backwards again that drift car trying to drift backwards not worth it as Italy is going to be taking the win and moving on to the gold matchup but before we do this final matchup we have to see who's going to get bronze will it be Spain or will it be the United States let's go ahead and find out Spain really looking for a bronze here 
looking to beat the United States. That Dodge drift car is just so fast all around the corner, beating Spain. Spain finishing second, but now they are lined up. Spain with the outside. USA on the inside. Spain going to clear them on the outside lane. Very easily done, and it's going to be Spain taking your bronze medal today, just barely beating out the United States. A good performance from the United States, but now it is time for our final matchup. I think this is a two-lap race. I just got word in. Let's see what Fury can make happen. Fury going to bounce back, and it's going to be both Italian cars on the front row now this might not make a difference if the f40 can pull a trick right up his sleeve but it's all going to come down to this we have italy starting in the front f40 pushing the 458 let's see what happens here as they go off the f40 trying to catch up to the 458 but it's not going to be worth it it's going to be the Ferrari 458 for italy taking the win beating out the f40 i was not expecting that i was expecting fury to absolutely sweep with that f40 but italy is going to bring it back italy one of Fury's biggest competitors in this Olympic series, and my, would you take a look at that result. In third place, we have the Ferrari 458 and the Lamborghini Gallardo representing Spain. In second place, we have the Ferrari F40 and the Greenwood Corvette representing Team Fury, the most dominant today, but in the end, it was Italy with the Ferrari California and the Ferrari 458 Italia taking the gold today. My voice is disappearing with all of this action. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, and it looks like Italy and Fury are now tied for first place. This is some big stuff going into only two events left in the series. Who is going to take it? Will it be Italy or will it be Fury? We are about to find out. And then Spain, of course, with another bronze medal. Thank you guys so much for watching this tournament. It was a lot of fun to film. If you need some more tournaments like this in the future, make sure you like the video, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.